Hello guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial on how to make a capture the flag game. Okay, so here we le is where we left off. So we have two players using the wasty and arrow keys moving, and we also have wall collisions. So let's make the flag capture. So we'll make a new variable named blue lag captured for all sprites. Then we'll set blue cap blue flag captured to false. And in here you'll put in an if touching blue flag and the red sprite then we'll set blue flag captured to true and then we'll go to the blue flag then we'll put in a one green flag clicked we'll go to x 190 y 0 and wait we'll show it first Okay, and also we will in a forever loop if else blue flag captured equals true, then we will go to red. And then we'll go to x190, y0. Okay, so let's test that. Now, if the red player goes to the blue flag and the blue flag is captured. And one thing before we move on, I will put in a go to back layer once. Just that the blue flag is behind the red player. Okay. So now that works, now we want the flag to be captured, so uh, we'll make a new variable named blue score for all, oh, not red, not blue score, it's red score for all sprites, and we'll put it in the large readout right there. And then if x position is less than negative 230, we will then change red score by 1. And before that, we'll broadcast reset. Okay, like that. And then in the red right, we'll put in a when I receive reset. We will copy this and we are done. Okay. And do the same thing for blue. Put it right there. And now, if we capture the blue flag, this, and put it to the white place like here, it resets. But the blue, oh, the blue is there. We'll put the X to 150 here. And that should do it. So, now we'll make the tag like if the red goes in the blue area then the blue can tag the red square so in the red sprite we'll put in if touching blue and okay, we'll put two ands here 
So if touching blue and exposition is more than 10 and the exposition is also less than 200 okay and if that is the case then we will duplicate this and after that we'll wait three seconds like that okay so for instance if we go here then it will capture the flag and we can tag it okay and it has to wait three seconds to move okay so now all we need to do is do the same thing for the blue so um you'll just copy this and we will add a new variable named red flag captured full sprite also make another variable named blue score full sprites make the blue score the a large readout okay so we'll put it right here that oh here if touching okay so if touching red flag you'll set red flag capture to true and if touching red exposition is less than negative 10 and exposition is more than negative 200 we'll do this 150 and set the red flag captured to false we also set red flag captured to false when the game starts and also in here we'll put it red flag captured to false make sure you do all of this and in the red flag we'll simply copy the code that we'll go to blue red flag captured to true else go to x 90 and we'll change blue score by one um said it's more than 230 okay so i think that is it and oh yeah we need to reset the scores so let's go to the red flag we will set blue score to nil And then in here we'll set red score to zero. Okay, so let's test this. So if we tag, we can tag it. And go here and if I try to tag him, it's not working. And if it goes back in the blue area, then we can tag it. And now we can play around. The blue can capture the flag and the score increases by one so now we've all done that we'll add some music to this game so when green flag clicked forever you'll play sound your music right here so we'll play it so there you go so thank you for watching please leave a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye